But we are back 814 now with today's money. And with inflation remaining at a 40-year high, a lot of Americans are continuing to feel the impact, especially on those everyday purchases. And now a lot of families are facing another challenge, getting ready to go back to school. So the question is, is how do you save on the things your family needs? The hardest working person at all of NBC News is here, Stephanie <laughs> Rule. Am I right? She is. No, no question. No question. Stephanie, you. welcome. We're happy Thank that you're you. here. Glad to you be You were here. up late, slept on your couch, and came in. Um, um, so food, food is like numero uno. What's a good way to save there? Listen, food costs so much. There's no way There's yeah. no way around it. So this is the time to think about extreme couponing, stack up okay. the rewards. I'm talking cash back apps, credit card points, loyalty programs. Start with your credit cards. Okay. All sorts of credit cards offer rewards, cash back points yeah. at grocery stores. But don't just use any credit card in your wallet. Read the fine print. Make sure you're using the credit card that maximizes Talk it. about the loyalty programs, the coupons. A hundred. 100%. Where? Why aren't yeah. you using them? Yeah. Lots of people don't get the newspaper at home anymore. So yeah. when you walk in that grocery store, get the circular. Oh, just see grab what, that. Yeah, see what's on sale. And if you're in their oops, loyalty Careful. program, <laughs> um, you're going to find another way to save. And never forget those cashback apps. Uh, Rakuten, Ibotta, sign up for them. Maximize what you get back. Okay. Goodbye. Craig needs well, you. Here we go. So, by the way, I'm going to try impressive. not to fall. That was yeah. impressive. It's yeah. like the gong show. You're, that wasn't a good hit. You <laughs> showed but you didn't out. fall. Yes. So let's talk about personal home care items because these are things that you really can't avoid buying. You know, it's funny. It's like when I buy detergent for the last 35 years, yeah. I will every time I'm like, man, it's so expensive, but you have to keep purchasing it. Think about where you're buying it. Okay. You don't just have to buy these things at the grocery store. So a lot of times credit cards and their cash back offers mm -hmm. will be tied to specific retailers. For example, Home Depot and Lowe's. You can buy all sorts of cleaning mm -hmm. products. It's DIY, DIYing, is that, is that an option? Okay, that is definitely an option. Think about your grandmother. She did not have all sorts of products. Mm -hmm. White vinegar. She was using a giant <laughs> vat of white vinegar for pretty much anything in the house. True. I would say the same for me with coconut oil. The only <laughs> thing is, do not go DIY with all cleaning products because you will end up with a giant disastrous chemistry experiment in your house. You mentioned buying in bulk earlier. When you buy in bulk, are there some things that we need to watch out for? Check the expiration date, okay. right? It's not just about food. You don't want to buy something. Yes, paper towels, toilet paper, load them up. But yeah. other products, make sure you're buying something within the expiration date. You don't want to have all these extra mm -hmm. tubes of who knows what. <laughs> you got to toss. All right, Mr. Sobroff is waiting. Hello, Steph. Hello. <laughs> Back to school essentials. What do you ask when you get to the checkout counter? You got to find out, is there a reward? program. Can I sign up for your mailing list? Remember, a mailing list is a lot different from signing up for a store credit card, which is a big headache, but you can even get a separate email account, a separate Google Voice account, so you can get all those promotions. Your inbox won't be filling up, but it's where you're going to find the coupon. Buying in bulk here, a lot of pencils at one time. Okay, this is so important. People never think about back to school buy in bulk. Why not do it? You might not need 20 notebooks, 100 pencils, right. but your neighborhood does. Uh, some states have tax-free holidays. What is, what is a tax-free holiday exactly? How does that help? Okay, check your state. Some states, especially at the end of August, offer a couple of days with no sales tax. So if you can get that, go for it. And clothes? What about clothes? That's also a big part of back-to-school mm -hmm. shopping. Okay. Secondhand clothes are not just for hipsters like you anymore. Who <laughs> cool. You all know we have little kids at home and they grow like weeds. My son's khakis in September are going to be clam diggers by December. Mm -hmm. Pull together your friends. Go on Facebook. Say, my back to school clothes, who can I offer them to six months from now and who can give me some? To I, me. Yeah, I, there you go. I do love the tip about supplies because yeah. everybody needs notebooks. It's not choosy. You, right. you, you, they're must haves. You also don't yeah. need, you know, the, for me, little house on the prairie. Uh, yeah. Lunchbox. Yeah. You don't right. need the trapper keeper with ET oh, on it remember. because it's going to be messed up in the yeah. bottom of a, a, of a backpack anyway. Yeah. Go generic. Best right. advice always. Steph Rule, thanks so much. <laughs> and for even more ways to save, be sure to check out today.com. Thank you, Steph. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.